So today we're going to be talking about how I plan on transforming my physique and also I plan on telling y'all the best vegan sources of protein. Now before we dive into this topic, I'm going to need a few things. I'm going to need y'all to smash the like button, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, and get me to the fucking moon. Let's make this push to a thousand subscribers, so let's dive into this topic. I'll see y'all at the moon, boys. Let's dive into it. It's me and I'm back with some more heat. So before we even get started, hold on. Ah, water check. So before we even get started and dive into this topic, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok, and buy my Herbalife products. Link in the description. I know y'all ain't seen my voice. I mean, say, oh, saying see my face and heard my voice in a minute. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I've been busy. School's calming down. So now we can make this push to a thousand subscribers and beyond we can make this push to the friggin moon and i can bring you all the best content i can bring so i had someone ask me a really really good question they said cg what are some of the best vegan sources of protein and also they asked me um how i plan on transforming my physique so let's dive into this so first things first bro is that when you're a vegan bro i'm gonna be eating in a calorie deficit so i'm gonna be eating about 2,800, 2,900 calories. My maintenance is around 3,100. So I plan on going 28, 2,900-ish on, on, a, on a good day. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be having 250 grams of protein. So usually the rule of thumb, they say in the world of bodybuilding, the world of fitness is one gram of protein per one pound of body weight. So therefore, I weigh 191 pounds on a good day. Um... I would theoretically be having 190 grams of protein a day, 191 grams of protein a day. But um, when I'm in a deficit, I don't want to prevent muscle loss and I want to activate muscle gain. I want to maximize how much muscle I can put on on my body and how much strength I can put on my body. So therefore, I'm going 100, um, I mean 250 grams of protein. So I'm going 1.3 grams of protein per pound per body weight rather than just one. So I hope y'all are picking up what I'm putting down, which theoretically the rule of thumb is that when you're in a deficit or when you're doing a body recomposition, you want to be having one gram of protein per pound of body weight. But theoretically, since I want to activate muscle gain and maximize how much muscle I can put on while I'm going to be in this deficit and trying out this new diet, I'm going to be going 1.3 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So that comes out to exactly 248 grams of protein. But just because I'll just round it off at 250 and not be a fucking weirdo and just make it even, you know what I'm saying? The two grams of protein aren't going to kill me. The two grams of protein aren't going to make me fat. It's just going to help me, you know what I'm saying? Can't hurt. It can only help. And then worst comes to worst, I can always tone it back down, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather start out ahead and tone down the calories or tone down the protein intake rather than start low, lose a bunch of muscle, and then um, have to rework that, re-feed re and do all that other BS. So y'all already know what I'm saying. Now I'm kind of rambling on. So anyway, now that that's out of the way, let's dive into the topic. The best vegan sources of protein, in my honest opinion, you want to cop yourself a plant-based protein powder. I know a lot of people have adverse reactions to whey protein because whey protein does indeed have dairy in it. I, for one, um, I do use whey protein just because it's a cheaper option. When I'm at school, um, I use whey protein. Just And I know some people are going to come, come in the comment section and say, Oh my God, you're not a real vegan, this, that, and the other. <laughs> Bro. I'm just saving money, but I prefer, I call myself a vegan because I really only eat plant-based food. So yeah, vegetarian, but I really don't avoid, like I really avoid dairy too, because dairy is not supposed to be ingested by human beings. If y'all haven't figured that out yet, cow's milk is disgusting. Just look up what's in cow's milk. So if you're still drinking cow's milk, you're lost. I'm sorry, but you're lost. So anyway, I do, however, use a whey protein on occasion while I'm at school this semester. I did, in fact, yes, I'm confessing to y'all that I did use a whey protein just because I left my plant-based one at home, um, just because I do most of my working out, most of my serious working out while I am at home, just because I have access to my trainer. I have access to um, better fitness facilities, et cetera, et cetera. So I keep my plant-based protein at home just because it's more expensive and I can get the most bang for my buck out of it. But while, while I'm at school, I do use a whey protein from the Walmart down the street um it's still a solid protein brand um decent you know what i'm saying whatever so whey protein or plant-based protein when i'm home i will be switching back to plant-based protein they have the same amount of grams of protein in it i just like the plant-based because it kind of tones down inflammation 
Um, it's got no fillers in it. You know what I'm saying? It's just a really, really good uh, plant-based protein. You know what I'm saying? So that obviously is going to be your number one because protein shakes are an essential part of gaining those vital nutrients when um, after you're working out. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to have one that, uh, bef uh, during breakfast in the morning, after you work out, et cetera, et cetera, before you go to sleep. So theoretically, I, I'd be having one to two to three scoops of that plant-based protein a day. That's 25 grams of protein. I honestly forget the name of the brand, but it's in a brown and green brown and green um, tube, tub, whatever you want to call it. So if anybody uh, remembers the name of the brand, just drop it in the comment section. So anyway, I'm doing a plant-based protein. Obviously, you want to do edamame. Edamame is another um, great, great source of vegan protein. And I say that to say this is that edamame, bro, in three quarters of a cup, it's just chopped green peas, bro, but in three quarters of a cup, it has 10, 11 grams of protein in three quarters of a cup. So you take three cups of that with some garlic, olive oil, mix it in with spinach. Spinach is another great source of vegan protein. It's got good chlorophyll in it. It's got a lot of good nutrients, a lot of good vitamins. And on top of that, it's got six grams of protein per three quarters of a cup. So you take three quarters, you take, might as well just take a whole cup. So you bang, bang, bang. That's like over 60 grams of protein just in a, a big bowl of edamame with some garlic, olive oil, and spinach. You're getting your protein. You're getting your, uh, you're not really going to get a lot of carbs out of that, but you're getting your protein and you're getting your good fats and you're getting a lot of vitamins just by making a bowl of greens just like that. Asparagus, broccoli, all other great sources of plant-based protein. You know what I'm saying? Beans, obviously. Lentils, obviously. Um, that's really what I like to use. You know what I'm saying? Then for my carbs, I use sweet potatoes. I use rice cakes, um, fats, obviously, uh, and protein too, peanut butter. So all these foods that I'm listing off, these are all great sources of vegan protein that you can get, and they're not expensive. A lot of people say, oh, you're only vegan because you got money, this, that, and the other. Bro, I really, I have money. My family doesn't have money, That if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So I earned my money through various hustling ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm able to go out and, and my family does hook it up with the dinners. You know what I'm saying? Tofu. I forgot about tofu too. My grandma makes some mean fried tofu with olive oil. You know what I'm saying? She would make it the same way that she would fry chicken, but she just fries it in olive oil instead and put some sauce on it and you got yourself tofu. Now people say tofu is nasty and tofu is nasty if it's made by the wrong person. Now if it's made by me or someone from my superior genetic family, it's going to be bust down. It's going to be fire. I say that to say this, is that you can take tofu, right? You have to dry it out. That's the key. When I make tofu, bro, my one of my go-to meals is tofu, brown rice, sweet potato, and a green. Can't go wrong with that. And brown rice, too, obviously another great source of carbs, but I don't need to go over that. I'm sure that's just common sense for all y'all that know. So anyway, tofu. In order to make a mean tofu, you take the block of tofu, right? You take it out the water, you drain it, you squeeze it out, drain it. You let it sit in paper towel, bro, all day. I'm talking all day. When you wake up in the morning after you take your cold shower, Take your tofu out, bro, put it on the table and let it sit there for the whole day. Wrap it in paper towel, right? You take it out and it's going to be nice and dry. You take it out, chop it up, um, put it in olive oil, um, marinate it, whatever you got to do. Deep fry it in olive oil, fry it in an air fryer, fry it in olive oil. It's going to come out nice and crispy and it'll be fire. I like to do general styles, tofu, tofu with a little orange chicken sauce, barbecue, anything, bro. Just get creative with it. You feel what I'm saying? And then last but not least, I am thinking about adding eggs to my diet. This is another confession just because eggs are such an easy source of protein and the amount of protein I'm going to be consuming on a daily basis um, is going to be a lot to do just straight vegan. You know what I'm saying? So I might start going more towards a vegetarian route, incorporating more dairy into my diet. Greek yogurt, obviously another good source of protein. I know it's not technically vegan, but you know what I'm saying? We're not all fucking nitpickers here. Um, so I may start incorporating eggs and Greek yogurt into my diet just because it's such an easy source of protein. But honestly, I might go plant-based yogurt. Um, the plant-based Greek yogurt, it's probably got the same amount of protein in it. I haven't really looked into it. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna be eating on a daily basis. And that are some of the best vegan or non-meat sources of protein. You feel what I'm saying? Vegetarian, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> so that's all I got for y'all today. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, buy my Herbalife products, follow my TikTok, and follow my Instagram. Link in the description. Peace out, y'all. Salute, see you, signing on.